A veterinary pharmaceutical company plans to test a new drug to treat a common intestinal infection among puppies. The puppies are randomly assigned to two equal groups. Half of the puppies will receive the drug and the other half will receive a placebo. The veterinarians monitor the puppies. This is an example of which study method. So let's go through the options. So what exactly is a census? A census is uh, where people gather information uh, about the entire population, every single individual. So the, uh, the pharmaceutical company here is trying to uh, uh, study puppies, right? So the population would be puppies. It would be all the puppies, okay, of that particular breed or that particular type. This is not a census. Uh, and another thing about a census is we do not introduce any, the, the key feature again, once again, uh, is we do not introduce anything into the population. We are just asking questions. We are just, um, you know, gathering information from the entire population. So this is not a census. So option one does not work. Option two, observational study. An observational study is exactly what it sounds like. You are making observations. So in an observational study, you do not introduce anything into the population. You do not introduce anything into the study group. You are just observing the behavior. So this is not an observational study because things were introduced. There was a drug that was introduced. There was a control group, okay? And, uh, and then after, after the, um, the drugs were introduced, then an observation was made. But this is not an observa observational study to begin with. Let's take a look at option three. So again, option two is no good. Option three, a survey. What exactly is a survey? A survey is a tool that's used to study, again, either population or a particular like sample, okay, where we gather information through like questionnaires, okay? Uh, and uh, a, a survey does not introduce uh, any thing to the group. It's just gathering information again. Uh, the survey um, itself is the only thing that is introduced to the population, but we are not directly like influencing uh, the the population. However, there are things like sur um, survey bias, okay, that exists, and the different types of biases that exists with conducting surveys that people should be aware of. Okay? But this study here is not a, uh, a survey study. It is not a survey, uh, so that's out, out of the question. Option four, controlled experiment. That is exactly what this description is um, describing. So we have two groups. So a controlled experiment has two groups. Uh, it has one group that, um, that really no change has happened, okay? And another group where uh, something is introduced and then comparisons are made and drawn. So this is a, uh, a, a direct example of what a controlled experiment is. It's option four.